Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can locally install whisper speech model in order to convert text to speech. You can also use this same model for audio cloning. This model is quite easy to use, it's lightweight and it even works on Google Colab with T4 GPU. But I am using my Ubuntu system for it locally and my Ubuntu is 22.04 word with one NVIDIA GPU with 16 GB VRAM. So let's get started. Let me first clear my screen and now let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to install some of the prerequisites and the command to do that is simple pip install. I already have Python installed so pip install and whisper speech. Let's wait for it to get installed. Shouldn't take too long. That's done quietly as you can see how lightweight it is. Okay, now let me fire up my Python interpreter and then we will install it there. The first step we need to do is to import the PyTorch. Let me do that. And now let's also import this PyTorch function as F. And let's also try to import our uh, IPython library for Markdown. We might be using it. That's done. And if you don't have IPython installed, simply do pip install IPython and it will install it. And same for torch. Okay, now let's import the pipeline from our whisper speech, which we will be feeding into. That's done. And now let's start with the fast ST S2A model, which is a whisper speech model. There you go. Simply press enter here and it is going to download the model. And you can see the size is just 856 MB. Let's wait for it to finish. It shouldn't take too long. The model is almost downloaded. It is downloading the PyTorch model dot pin. Let's wait for it to finish. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, so that's done. You can ignore this warning for now. And now let's do some inference. So I am just uh, feeding in this prompt that this is a local installation demo of whisper speech and I am hoping that it is going to convert it into my audio. So let's press enter and let's wait for this to finish and you can see how quick that is. There you go. So it has generated the audio. So it has created a blob here. Let me also show you how you can do the same from Google Colab. So the first thing again we need to do is to install the prerequisites. And before you do that, make sure the runtime is set to T4 GPU, which is a free one. And you can log in with your free Google account. So let's run it. It shouldn't take too long. Fairly easy and performant that is done. And now let's run this just to check if it is Colab. So it is Colab. Let's load our extension so that it will make it easier and these are optional steps if you want to leave them that is fine as we didn't do them on locally so this is the one which we imported the libraries and stuff now again let me specify the pipeline from the whisper speech that is done now let's load our model which is as we know it's quite lightweight let's wait it is almost done so i will let it run instead of pausing the video cool that is quickly done so now let me generate the audio again with the same one And you can see how quick and easy the entrance is. And by the way, in their repo, they recommend it to run on Google Colab. Anyway, so let me play this for you. This is local installation demo of Whisper Speech. Okay, amazing. Um, so that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. And there is also 
a functionality of cloning it let me see if i could quickly show you that too okay i found an example let me show you so what is happening in this code chunk which i just pasted from their github repo they are using this um, zero shot voice cloning and all we are doing it we are providing a url of our audio file and then it is going to clone it let me run it maybe i will just use a small one instead of whole one let me run it now let's wait for it to finish that's it let me run it the first demo a whisper speech there you go so how easy it is to generate audio from text plus clone your audio i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the link to this whisper speech in video's description so that you can also read through so this is their github repo a lot of nuggets there i would highly suggest you go and check it out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it always helps thank you very much